What's important is uh, UMNO's agenda and electoral outcome shouldn't affect the national agenda. I mean, it should be more inclusive. You talk about the future of Malaysia and what's best and good for Malaysia should dictate uh, the future direction. So, I mean, I congratulate those, the winners. Uh, but for me, you know, it's important to ensure the winners in UMNO does not necessarily become the winners in cabinet. I want good ministers not subservient ministers to the Prime Minister. So I hope the Prime Minister understands this. A lot of Malaysians just want quality leadership, not necessarily um, bogged down by the happenings and the outcomes of UMNO. So, you know, um, we've gone past that. You've given the entire focus of the party elections on UMNO, um, national coverage on UMNO. Can we just please focus on the current problems that we face as Malaysians. Which are? Which are, of course, you talk about the increasing incidence of crime, you talk about ineffective police force, unprofessional, um, among criticisms, we talk about um, a very polarised political uh, environment. You know, there's not much effort being done to cultivate national unity. Uh, you talk about, um, in terms of the rule of law, Many corrupt uh, ministers and officers escape due to the weaknesses of the MACC, citing um, you know excuses after excuses. So I think it is time for the MACC, I mean, for the Prime Minister, to look closely at the functions or and the implementation of the MACC and ensure they improve current uh, standards. I mean, the sense of providing fair dispensation of justice, providing equal opportunities and providing fair treatment to everyone. I think, you know, these basic principles should uh, outline how things should be meted out. Stop politicizing everything or I'm no sizing everything. Okay? Thank you.